Hello everyone, this is Atsuki Chef channel. My name is Kirill, welcome. And today I decided to make Mutton Mandi, very popular dish uh, in Middle East, originated from Yemen, and it's not that difficult to make it. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, and as usual, our ingredients, all here. I will start with a lamb. This is a lamb leg, about two kilos, okay. And then we have uh, one chili pepper and half bell pepper. We have saffron in a hot water. Then we have cashew nuts. We're gonna need it for garnish at the end. 600 grams of basmati rice. Uh, then we need butter ghee. And now please attention, spices. We have a lot of spices. We have uh, cinnamon, cardamom, black cardamom, black pepper, cumin zira, cl cloves. Uh, coriander, three bay leaves, and one black lemon, dry black lemon. Then we have turmeric, salt and pepper. This is it. All right, we're gonna start with seasoning our uh, lamb leg. We'll start with salt, black pepper, uh, turmeric, turmeric very good for health. So don't be shy, use it. Turmeric. And same way we're gonna do the other side. Uh, the next step, uh, saffron water. We're gonna apply everywhere. Same thing on the other side. If you do it overnight, uh, this type of marination, it's very good, but we are doing quick version, so one hour is enough. Such a nice uh, bright color. Ah, uh, guys, next step, we're gonna add some water here. So you can see I used full jug. Our spices all mentioned above. Uh, chili pepper, two pieces of bell pepper. Like this. Then I'm gonna put this rack over here. I'm gonna place it right here. All our marinade. Put on the top of it. Next step, we're gonna put First layer, baking paper and then aluminium foil on the top of it. I close it properly. So right now our leg goes to the oven for two hours. Our lamp is cooking for one hour already and now is the right moment to soak the rice. 600 gram, a tablespoon of salt and warm water. So it will stay approximately one hour. Mmm, such a nice smell. Okay, I just put meat on the side and I also measure the amount of liquid. It should be equal to amount of rice. Remember we had uh, same, uh, same bowl full of rice, so same bowl of liquid and little bit more. So I left little bit on the bottom. Right now you need to wash the rice five, six times. Uh, we're sending rice straight into the container. Uh, we need to spread it. We need to spread the rice. Okay. Right now I'm gonna add the salt. Butter ghee. One full tablespoon. Maybe one and a half. Like this liquid from Monday. Mm. 
full of aroma and spices. Let me just spread it a little bit. Then we have to place our meat back. It goes on the top of it. Okay, over here. So it goes back to the oven for another hour. Uh, back to the oven. Just another hour and it's ready. Uh, right now I'm gonna make some salsa. Tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. I eat ones, no? Seven, eight pieces of garlic, red and green chili, and coriander leaves. Let's see if it works without liquid. Let's try. We need to put a little bit of water. Some salt. Salsa is ready. Please have a look. This is how you serve uh, Mandi. Ta -da! Look at this, guys. It looks amazing. But we have uh, one final step. We're gonna make our mandi smoky flavor. A piece of uh, burning charcoal. Uh, let me place it here. Just few drops of uh, oil straight on the charcoal. Okay. And we have to cover it for another 10 minutes. After that, our dish will be smoky. I'm gonna uh, fry uh, cashew nuts with a ghee butter, butter ghee, a little bit fried and put it on the rice as a garnish. This is it. Of course, as usual, I'm gonna try this. What I want from you, please follow my recipe and try to cook it. Mm -hmm. And this is our salsa. It's a bit spicy, but that's the way uh, you serve the mandi. There is no words can describe how delicious is that dish. I'm sorry. So please, please hit like to this video. Please put comments, comments very important. And of course, thank you for watching. See you again. Thank you.